Hi everyone, I am here with my August favorite video. Before we get, get into all the favorites and the stuff I've been loving, I just have two announcements. First, it's um, I am going to be on vacation from end of August. I'm going back to China. So if you guys wanted to see any vlog or anything, please leave the comment down below and I'll try to film some vlogs for you guys. And second announcement, it's not an announcement. I'm really sorry that I'm filming this video on my laptop. The camera is out of battery and I just want to film something and put it out there before I go on vacation. So here it is. First, let's talk about all the beauty products that I have been obsessing with. First, I got the Christian Louis Vuitton nail polish. This is what it looks like. I mean, the Louis Vuitton logo is embossed on the box. On the box, so I don't know if the camera's gonna touch. Oh, it's right here. It's embossed over here, and uh, just with some product information. I got it because I think it would look so great on a coffee table. It blends in with my shirts. Oh my god, I, I didn't even know. Okay, so it's. Oh, let's do it here. I got it because I'm a big fan of anything that's Louis Vuitton. So, of course, I have to get it. And I heard that you can use this to touch up on the red sole. I mainly just use this as a nail polish. as what it's supposed to be. Really great. Um, if you open it up, it's like this. Let me show you. I love the packaging. It's just, it's really nice. I'm wearing the color on my nails right now. Honestly, I think it is one of the best nail polish out there because the color and the application is just so easy. One coat this, I, it's on my finger for five days and nothing chipped and I didn't put a top coat. It just one coat done and it's really fast drying as well. So I only waited like maximum two minutes and everything is dried up, which is perfect. It is a little bit uh, expensive, but still I think it's worth the money and I'm thinking to purchase other colors when it comes out. So love it, love it, love it. Next product I have been loving is the Bath and Body Works Forever Midnight Body Cream. Um, I don't know if they still have it in the store, but um, I think I got this when they were hoping to send me a new sale or something. I'm not a really big fan of their body cream. I mean, the ones I tried before were really, really bad. When I saw this in my cupboard, I was like, oh, I got to finish this because I bought it. But I'm loving it. Oh my god, the scent. It's, um, hmm. I'm really bad at describing scent, but the scent is very feminine, but refreshing at the same time. Nothing like really harsh. It's just a gentle scent. It says, has a little bit of jasmine, um, plum nectar, and vanilla orchid in it. I'm not sure, but if you see this in any Bath and Body Works place, please, please smell it. At least like try, try it on your body. It just it's very nourishing too. I put it on my body, and it just the scent lasts all day, which is just really nice. And I love it. If I see it, they have more. I'll definitely grab it. It's called Forever Midnight. The skincare that I have been obsessing with, I think I can never live without this ever again. It's the Kate Somerville Oil Free Moisturizer. This is what it looks like. My skin has been acting up since a year and a half. I've been having a really, really hard time about dealing with my acne around my chin area. And um, my face always feels greasy, oily. I saw this online on the software website. I was like, you know what, let's try it. It comes in a white bottle like this. The packaging is just very simple and it's so very luxe. 
um, they open it up and say applicator like this. Um, you have to pop, like press this down and the um, cream will come up, which I think is very sanitary. The cream keeps my face oil free throughout, I don't want to say whole day, at least for five or four hours. And uh, I don't see any oil on my nose or chin, which is really nice. And it doesn't dry my skin out. My skin feels really calm and not greasy, which is really nice. And I use this with a hydration cereal. So I don't know if it's a cereal that doesn't make my face um, dry out or anything, but I've been loving the cream. I and mean, there's no scent to it. I mean, nothing really obvious. So, which is really nice. My skin feels like I'm not wearing anything. It applies really good underneath makeup foundation as well. I love it, love it, love it. I'm really obsessed with eye cream. I'm loving the cute creamy eye creamy eye treatment with avocado. What is this? I'm so sorry about the lighting. I purchased this before and I hated it. Like I hated it. Um, my favorite was the Lumiere Eye Concentrate, but I got this, uh, look how much I have this stuff. Oh my god, my camera is... It's almost halfway through. So while I was reading about it, I was like, hey, I hated that, let me try it again. And this time, I tried it, and I, I don't know if they changed the formula or not, because I tried it a few years ago. It was really bad now, I love it. The, the Mare Eye Concentrate is really pricey. Uh, I think I will only get it if I'm out duty free or something. But this is really good, it's a great uh, substitute. It's very rich, uh, it smooths out the fine lines, and it absorbs really fast under the eye area, which I love, love, love. If you're looking for a rich eye cream, this is the one you have to try this and then it's a kind of beauty called favorite as well so i love it i've been falling back in love with my tarte tint bb tinted treatment 24 hour primer with spf 30. this is what it looks like i mean the color medium great great primer with a little bit of coverage sometimes i just wear this oval as a bb cream uh, I don't think this is a like BB cream, BB cream. This is just a primer or cream with sunscreen and um, and it's tinted. So uh, very convenient if you don't want to put on foundation and just a layer. It provides a light coverage and with SPF 30, which is pretty good. And this is my sunscreen for the summer. Uh, I've been really, really bad not putting on sunscreen, but. Um, I love it. This is my third or fourth bottle, and I use it as a primer, um, day cream, it just whatever. It's very convenient, multi-purpose. It's just they don't have lots of um, color selection. So, and the other favorite that I've been obsessed with is my Hourglass Ambient Light Highlight Powder. I don't know if I talked about this. In other videos. Since I got it, I've been using it non-stop, especially the middle one. I love, love, love it. And it just, it's the best highlighter. It has no shimmer, but it gives a really nice natural sheen on the cheekbones. It's just absolutely amazing. If I'm wearing something that can show off my shoulder, I usually put it on my collarbone as well. Multi-purpose. I love it. And I've been using this literally non-stop since I got it, which is a few months, and I still haven't hit the pen on any of it. So, great product, really, really nice. I mean, I've been obsessing with the show called The Minty Project, which I love, love, love. And it's so funny, I'm watching it on Netflix. Um, they have up to season two, I'm just waiting for but see the three, two, come. Mindy has a book out. It's called, It's Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns. This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, she's my new model. I mean, this book is kind of like a 
self advice book or self guide book, but nothing really serious. Just they really lent me really funny. Mindy talks about how she got to where she is now and stuff with friendship, with college, with it's, just, it's a really, really funny book. You don't need to take this book really seriously. It's so funny. The first chapter is called Chubby for Life. It's a really, really light read. If you're one of those people who tend to take everything really seriously, don't read this. You might get offended. I don't know, but I love it. And um, I only got it like three or two days ago and I'm almost halfway through. I love, love, love this book. It's, it's, it's really funny. I mean, yeah. I have a fashion favorite to talk about in the month of August, which is my Gold Yard um, Pass Body Bag. I don't know the name of this bag, but I know it's a smaller size. It's in the classic Gold Yard, Gold Yard material, red, um, really nice cross body and um, I mean I emptied everything out. This is what it looks like. If you want to see a review of this bag, please let me know in the down bar and I'll try to do it. This is my first uh, Gold Yard bag. This bag, I love it. It looks good with everything, my jeans, uh, my trousers, uh, my skirts, dresses, everything. And it, the material is scratch resistant. So we'll always look this new. Um, I don't really take care of my bags, but it still kept its shape. And it has a back compartment. Oh, I have something. It's a McDonald coffee cup. I don't even eat McDonald, but I love it, love it. I think it's one of my favorite pop bodies. Let me know if you want me to do a review on this. And if you want to see my trip in Asia, please leave the comments down below as well. So thank you for watching. Bye.